Salam, welcome. He's a... Hey, uh, let me get a picture. <laughs> what are you doing? Where you been? <laughs> See you, mate. Pulled this place back in the competition days. Been looking for you for months. I've got a surprise for you. It's time to get out of here. Hold all my calls. Take your rocks. It is pretty cool. It's a spot to be in the summer. We're going to have some good conditions here. Last year I got to scope out some flat water offshore, and some shallow places, rails. Quite impressed, mate, how you've uh, pulled out of competition for a while and uh, focused on other things. I found like new things that I wanted to do with the boots and the rails, and now I'm like as excited to ride as I was like five years ago. During this whole time, I've been able to focus, especially with Flexi4, on making my own kind of brand, making a real strong image with Hadlow. And with the boots, it just gives you a lot more clarity when you're riding. Yeah, it's weird. Positive. I never thought I'd really get into it that much and at first I was always a bit dubious, but now that I've developed the wake style board and flexi, that board's so perfect with boots that I don't know, I'm just comfortable in all conditions. Bit of a tribute to Colin, eh? Definitely. After Colin passed away, I worked with the factory and used his shape of the original freestyle board, made it wider and made it thicker. There's enough grip with the channels that I can ride rails and don't have to put fins on and catch up when I'm sliding. It's actually stiffer between the boots just because there's so much pressure going through when you're doing all the presses on the rails. You don't want it to overflex and just snap. I've been so involved with rails recently and that's what I've been having so much fun with and I think it's going to start getting bigger and better because there'll be more risk into it to be hitting bigger rails, doing really nice presses and things that look really smooth. And then I think one of the main things that's going to be growing the sport is having like kickers. So either riding in the waves and using the kickers as ramps or putting just the obstacle kicker into flat water and I think that's essential to kiteboarding because it gives you another axis and another dimension to throw totally different tricks. I found it really hard to adapt the boots at first, but then I'm getting it and now I feel like it's, it's a better way to go forward. Using kickers and sliders, it's so new that everyone's learning. You know? It's still a new progression. I feel like I'm kind of back at the beginning, like taking it forward in a different way now.
So this surprise. What have you got in mind, Edlo? Picture this. Sell a few antiques to buy one of these. Fancy bands, how we roll. <laughs> we roll down the coast in a pimp motor to an insane luxury mega boat. With waders everywhere hooking you up. Palm girl. Topless. Your drinks. Cheers. Indoor jacuzzi. Outdoor jacuzzi. World class pianist. Private, Private cinema. cinema. Quiet please. Rolling. side of the sport and doing the wake star stuff I feel like I can use boots and translate it into a competition kind of style that will work one day. <laughs> Maybe one day, Gaze. <laughs> this is how we roll, Hedlo. Back to reality in the classics. It's not what I had in mind. I thought you got rid of this thing as well. <laughs> Love it. You're going to get out of here or what? Yeah. If it starts. <laughs> 